Should you get the 2022 Legion 5 Pro or is last year's model good enough for you? In this video, I'm gonna help you make that decision. First and foremost, we're gonna jump into the features and functionalities and the differences between this year's model and last year's model. Then we're gonna dive into the performance to see which one is right for you. Now, first and foremost, you can see the main difference right off the bat being the top cover. You can see they have the Legion name here versus last year they have the Legion symbol on the top cover. Now they're both in aluminum build quality, same weight and thickness as they were last year, still very well built, durable, tough laptop. And as you look at the bottom cover of last year's laptop, you can see it's assembled and put together very nicely. It's bottom cover fits into the side panel very nicely. And on this year's model, you can see the same thing, very well assembled, fitting the bottom cover into the side panel very nicely. So the assembly on these laptops is great. The materials used are fantastic. These are all aluminum laptops excluding the ledge on the back and this side vent panel right here. This is the plastic on the laptop. Otherwise, you have an all aluminum build. Now, checking out the ports, you can see we have two USB type C's on the left side of the 2022 model. We only have one USB type C on the side of the 2021 model and we have our headphone jack. Now, as we flip the laptops over, you can see we have the headphone jack on the right side of the 2022 model with our USB type A, and then we have a USB type A in the 2021, and then they both have the manual cutoff Switch for the webcam. Now on the back panel of the 2021 model, you see we actually have an extra USB type A. They both have a USB type C, they both have HDMI, and they both have network ports. However, you have an additional USB type A on the 2021. However, you have an additional USB type C on the 2022 model. So it really depends on what you want as far as connectivity is concerned. Now going ahead and getting the laptops open, you can see we have very, very similar keyboard decks in regards to the layout and what keys you get with the laptop. However, you can see we have a black keyboard deck on the 2021 model and we have the full silver keyboard deck on the 2022 model. Now I will say it's kind of interesting because I think there's actually less key travel on the 2021 model than there is the 2022. I feel a slightly longer key travel on the 2022 model. If you're curious what each one sounds like, here's a quick audio sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad on each of the laptops. Now, as you can see, the trackpads are identical, the exact same trackpad, so they carried that over with the same size same click sensitivity and everything. So that looks good. And speaking of the Legion 5 Pro, Lenovo actually sent over three Legion 5 Pros for us to give away once we reach 100,000 subscribers. So definitely subscribe to the channel, share this video out, drop it a like, and as soon as we reach 100,000 subscribers, we'll be doing a video to kick off the giveaway. If you're curious about the exact pricing differences between the 2022 model and the 2021 model, definitely head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now the battery life is something that is extremely close from 2021 to 2022. So no matter which model you pick, you'll be getting good battery life at about nine hours of productivity battery life. As you can see the results coming up on the screen for each laptop right now. Now the screen is also the same. You can see the results coming up on the screen right now for each of the displays. Still bright, still color accurate. They both look really good and that's a really big bonus of this 16 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratio display. Now looking at the thermal temperatures for the 4K export, you actually see improved thermal temperatures by choosing the 2022 model. The 2021 does pretty well, but not as good as the latest 2022 model of the Legion 5 Pro. We never saw above 80 degrees Celsius on any of the exports for the 4K export test. Of course, they both come with a webcam on the top bezel of the screen, and here is a quick sample of the differences between each one.
Here is the webcam on the Legion 5 Pro and a quick audio sample for you. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Without further ado, let's get into the performance benchmarks to see which one has what it takes for your needs. Now, first and foremost, looking at Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that the latest Legion 5 Pro definitely scores better in the simulated benchmarks. Moving into Cinebench R20, same thing, we see the latest Legion 5 Pro performing better. And as we move into Cinebench R23, you can see in single core and multi-core, the 2022 model still stands out on top, which is to be expected with simulated benchmarks. Now, as we get into the Photoshop benchmark, you can see that the 2021 model scores a 788, whereas the 2022 model scores an 881. So honestly, not a big difference. If you wanted to get the 2021 model, you could simply upgrade it to 32 gigs of RAM and probably get in the 900s for the Photoshop benchmark. So really it's tomato tomato here for the Photoshop benchmark, both perform very well. Now, moving into After Effects, we did see a more substantial difference between 2021 and 2022. 2021 is scoring a 645 and 2022 is scoring an 857. So definitely something to consider when choosing between these two laptops. If you're an After Effects user, you would benefit by going with a 2022 model. Now, looking at Autodesk 3ds Max, you can see that there's not a huge difference here between the 2021 and 2022. It's about a one point difference. Now, the Autodesk Maya test is something that threw me off for the past year because it's been the best performance Autodesk Maya laptop out of any laptop I've ever tested. And it just seemed off to me. I mean, this is beating out RTX 3070 Ti's and even some RTX 3080's. And to me, it just didn't make sense. However, I ran the test multiple times. I reran the test even while I was shooting this head-to-head -head review and it still scores a 305. So it definitely shows off to be a really good Autodesk Maya user in the 2021 model. However, the 2022 model is right behind it at a 268. So both models will be good, but but for whatever reason, this 2021 model, it just scores a huge score in Autodesk Maya. Moving on to PCC Creo, we see a better score out of the 2021 model than we do the 2022 model. And again, I reran these tests just to make sure everything was squeaky clean, and we're still seeing the 2021 perform better for these two 3D modeling benchmarks. And as we move on to SolidWorks, you can see a slightly better score by about six points, nothing huge, but definitely gonna give you a tiny advantage over the 2022 model. So 2021 is definitely a 3D modeling pick. I think it would be amazing. It would save you some money and uh, it's a good option for you. Now, moving on to the Premiere Pro playback, definitely go with the 2022 model, better playback by a substantial amount of drop frames. We see 393 drop frames out of the 2022 model. Whereas in the 2021 model, we see 393 drop frames out of the 2022 model. And then out of the 2021 model, it's actually 5,833. So we definitely see much improved playback by choosing 2022 for 6K B-RAW. Moving on to the 4K export, times, you're going to get a bit of an advantage for the 4K export out of Premiere Pro. You'll save about 50 seconds for that export. And then moving on to 6K export time, you can see that it's 17 minutes for the 2022 model and 24 minutes for the 2021 model. So for video editing, again, definitely going to lean you towards the 2022 model. Getting into DaVinci Resolve, we have a seven minute and 23 second export time on 2021 and a six minute and 47 second export time on 2022. Not a huge advantage for DaVinci Resolve, but for Premiere Pro users, I would lean you towards 2022. All right, now which one should you pick? If you're in 3D modeling, I would definitely pick the 2021 model to save you some money. And then you could take some of that money and upgrade the RAM because both RAM sticks are upgradable well in both machines. And they also have two M.2 slots. So there should be one occupied and one unoccupied. So for 3D modeling, save you some money, upgrade the RAM, that would be a great choice. However, for video editing, I would definitely go for the 2022 model. It showed better performance on all of the video editing tests that really made a difference. Playback and 4K export time as well as 6K export time. DaVinci Resolve was kind of a split, but for Premiere Pro users, definitely the 2022 model. Now for Photoshop, like I said earlier in the review, I think Photoshop would be great on the 2021 model because you could then upgrade the RAM and get just as good a performance, if not better than the 2022 model. And really punch for punch, as far as the features and functionality, it is nearly the same laptop. And so besides the logo on top, you're getting everything from the 2022 Legion 5 Pro in the 2021, except for maybe that extra USB Type-C. 
Comment below and let me know which one you're considering. And also don't forget to subscribe so we can reach 100,000 subscribers and kick off this giveaway. I'll see you guys in the next video.